Hello guys, Flying Dutchy here and welcome back to a new try in the Austria-Hungary run. I think we are, should try again. There are a couple of reasons. One, I forgot to turn on Iron Man mode, so I cannot get my achievement that I want. Um, should be somewhere in the north. As Hungary, restore Austria-Hungary. We need to earn all of these lands here, Jordan, Palestine as well, and some of Germany. And I want that achievement. And I forgot to turn on Iron Man mode. And secondly, we were so far behind and everything took way too long. So this time I will just go and uh, try to do this quicker. Because I think that's uh, going to work uh, better for us. Um, the AI is again on non-historical. So we don't know what Germany is going to do. Maybe Hitler will stay in power. And yeah gonna try this again so we will just try to go and uh, do a, a, a referendum with Austria and if they don't accept this we will just try again let me just go phew over here now tech wise we always pick the same things right this one this one and this one we want to build more civilian factories at the start of the game um, I'm gonna put everything in the queue so I don't forget. We don't have trucks indeed. We have a close air support, but no, nah, let's not do in here. Let's get uh, three of these and one on each of these for now. Um, and we could trade with Germany for one factory, I think, to get our steel. Now, put our armies in an, a template. Ultimate border with Austria. And we can unpause the game. We still have to do a couple of things because we want to. I will run speed 5 because otherwise it's going to take way too long. And. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we need to go over our template. So we need to get rid of the recon. I hopefully won't forget. We'll become military police. Military police. There we go. And I will make different. This will be my normal infantry. And rename it. I will also duplicate it, and these ones will become my better units. Yes, with the fist. Um, elite infantry. So we can use this template to upgrade smaller units, and I think that works better. We could also move, uh, we can also make another duplicate over here for garrisons, maybe for later. So now let's just go. Um, yeah, we don't have to do anything. We just want uh, to ask Austria to join us. I think that's the best uh, the best thing to do. Oh, what was that sound? Did you guys hear that uh, sound of thunder? It, there's no thunder here, but it sounded like there was a huge thunder strike. <laughs> oh, but there's nothing here, so. <laughs> Normal infantry. There you go. Now the question is, if we, if Austria is going to say yes, we will keep our annoying treaty. And if we keep our annoying treaty, then we need to do something about that. Luckily we have some focuses to get rid of the treaty. The Bled Agreement. I guess we have to go for that one. But maybe this run, the AI will be very kind to us. There we go, balance budget. Okay, Germany is still trying to become a Kaiser. That's really good for us because we are also becoming a Kaiser. Uh, let's continue this path, strengthen the monarchists. There we go. Um, which one did I pick last time? I guess the captain of industry, right? And the monarchist. I mean... 
This is also really good, by the way, because we do a lot of industry researches at the start of the game. You know what? Let's let's do this for once. Let's just get the uh, the research speeds that we are doing a lot of. I think that's better for us in the long term. We can do a lot of in uh, research here. We're gonna do all these, I think. I guess I'm going to get my artillery research bonus again. Should just go for infantry. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 techs I want to research here. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, we have way more artillery. We are going to go with the artillery bonus next. Well, maybe not next because we don't have to research it anytime soon. Don't have the industry for it, so I will wait. I'm gonna pick the uh, construction speed for civilian factories next. <coughs> Go, put the planes in the right order. You go with Ivan Hindi again. He did very well last time. Second level, level treaty. Oh, there we go. We took all the bonuses. Machine tools, let's keep doing all the techs here. Do we go with dispersed again? I think we still do dispersed. So if we are lucky, we can get this very, very quickly with cores on it, and then we are so much stronger. We also want uh, South Tyrol and Istria, because that's part of the, the Austrian-Hungarian borders. Strengthen the monarchists. We can elect a king. Yeah, we are going through this part as quickly as we can. Do we have all the goods? Not ready. Not not yet. We need so much more guns and manpower. Seems like Germany is winning. Can we already see what other countries are doing? Not really. Um, I think, yeah, we can do a uh, infantry equipment thing. Or artillery, of course. I think we will go with the artillery designer, but we are not researching artillery. So we just go with our captain of industry. So we build civilian factories 10% quicker. That was construction. So we have a bit of time until 1937. I also want the radios. Let's get that radio. Positions available. Don't want to do any political things. We can get 15 units of train for free, yeah, but... I'm gonna build them myself. Slowly. 
It only costs one steel. I should also get the trucks researched uh, very soon. Because we need them for supply and our uh, field hospitals, I think. And the supply things. Nationalist Spain. Okay, Nationalist Spain doesn't seem too strong. So maybe this run we will not get Nationalist Spain. Maybe we get a Carlist Spain. That would be interesting. There we go. We have the king. Elect a king. And we go for the Habsburg. And then we demand a referendum. Are you still, uh, yeah, Romania is guaranteeing you and France. I really hope I can get into a faction with Germany before we go and take that all down, because otherwise. I'm afraid that we are not going to get what we need, but we will see. Okay, the guns are in. Next thing I will pick is a bit of army experience, I think. We don't really need the... Uh, the monarchist at the start. I think it's more important to get our first army experience coming in. I'll pick the army offense guy. Okay, there's a civil war in the Soviet Union in this run. Again, a very small one. Well, yeah, it's still not th that great. Get some army offense. Create faction. Nope, they don't want to. Not yet. It's already 15% world tension. It's going very, very quickly. <laughs> Come on, give me my industry. I'm waiting for it. And before we have to go to war, I need to save up my political power. Or these two. War economy and uh, recruitment. It's a bit of a gamble run. There we go, the military junta has won. We'll get Kaiser Wilhelm back on the throne, and I like it. And we are the Habsburg. Otto assumes the crown. The Otto is in the thumbnail, by the way, if you didn't see it. Now, I will do the referendum, because I'm not strong enough. So, let's see if Austria is going to say yes. Okay, so when you are at war, there is a bigger chance that they want to help. Well, I changed the elite infantry over here. Going to get A artillery. Of course, we can't see uh, the whole template. So we will change this template and then we change the troops in the field to that template one by one. But we know that we always have enough equipment. It's October. Uh, let's get the motorized uh, the trucks. For our supplies and other things. You need trucks for all kinds of things. Habsburg is restored. Yes, we are. 
They're slowly becoming more le legitimatists, but that's going very slow. Prefer to let that go quicker. So what I can do now is put my elite inventory and I put a artillery in here. And then I can say, okay, this guy changed to elite infantry. Do, can I do this? Yes, we have enough artillery, but we don't have the manpower. So there's no reason right now to do this. We, we need to cheat on our on our triathlon. Tria, tria non treaty. That will be the next thing I'm going to pick, I think. Oh, we need to do this one. We get cores everywhere and then we get manpower. Mechanical computing. Very nice. It's November. I could wait until 1937. Let's wait. I'm going to wait with new tax. I'm going to pick the industry tax again. We'll save up 30 days of uh, research. No, I hope they're gonna say yes. If they're gonna say no, I think I'm just going to uh, retry. Just pause the video until it happens. You know, you you, you guys don't have to see my uh, struggle. <laughs> but hey, it could mean that the whole world is gonna be different. Please say yes. Please, please, please. Maybe I could have improved my relations. Yes, they say yes, that's really good. We annexed the Kingdom of uh, of Austria, so instead of fighting two years, we got it immediately, instantly. Which is perfect. And this is our new goal. We will get cores on all the things. Austria votes to unite with us, indeed. Oh, I get his units as well. Oh my good, that, that is amazing. Oh, get all the units. Look at this. That's amazing. Let's get our mountaineers. Um, over here. Yes. Do we also get his generals? Yes, we have other uh, other marshals. Oh, this is amazing! What is this for a thing? An engineer officer. Now let's just get this one. But look, we have our field marshal here. This one is better, I think. Yeah. Carl is ours now. It's really nice that you get the generals and the marshals. So we get that, we are... We might have a bit more uh, resources now. Yeah, but we need to core it first, and then we get all the things. Do they only have three here? That's nothing. Oh well. We have the Alpenjägers now. We have the Infanterie Division. And we have our own infantry. Um, well... This one is uh, pretty big, but this one is easier to uh, to change. So maybe I will remove my own infantry and make it this one. A royal wedding in Brazil. What? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. What do I want to get now? 
more m monarchist support, so our stability goes up more, can be nice. We're not making any factories. Uh, we can't do anything else here. Could get a military guy. Yeah, let's get another military guy. Okay, this one is full, so we can start researching this one. It's only 90 days now, thanks to our bonus. Go, and I guess I will pick construction. It's really nice that we have all these units now. I really like it. Also, we have a lot of artillery, support equipment, but we still have no manpower. Yeah, if I do this one, we need so much more manpower. We need 112,000 manpower, so I can't do that one. I need to uh, remove the, sh the uh, normal divisions. Or the, no, not the Schnelle. Uh, why is that such a weird name? These ones need to go to a normal infantry. All the units need to go normal infantry. And I guess we will remove this one. Can I use this for something later? I don't think so. Just remove it. This is for later. We need to defend coastlines and harbors. This one will be upgraded. The next thing that I want is engineers, but I don't have engineers. Dutchy, why don't you have engineers? I don't know. I don't know why. I look at the cavalry recon. Latvia is at war with Latvia. The dawn of the European combine. Oh. Okay. Interesting. What's going to happen over there? Want to get a couple more infantry units, two more I think. This template. That will be the next thing to do. Now we should get a bit more manpower when we get cores on Austria. France will guarantee them, okay. I wonder if uh, what will happen if the Kaiser takes over. I think the more uh, war ten world tension there is, the better for us. Did they also pick their planes? Japan is going to war and we have the restoration of the Austria-Hungarian lands over here. We could go immediately to protect Austria, um, uh, Czechoslovakia I mean. Now the thing is, if they say no... Well it doesn't matter if they say no, then we will go after it later. But is this maybe the good moment to go for a secret rearmament? To the to the Bled Agreement. I mean if we go to war we don't need to do all these focuses. That's the whole thing. 
let's just continue the political path here. We have three military factories, that's always good to see. Do it like this. Hey, we have manpower. Non-aggression pact from the German Empire. Now, I like that. Yeah, when there is 40% world tension, we can create a faction with Germany. And I think we will do that again, because Germany is just a good ally over here. Um, we have enough points again. Uh, well. Go with the artillery designer. I think we will get a lot of artillery researches soon. I wonder what will happen when they say no. How much manpower do I still need for the reinforcing? Oh my goodness, I need so much more manpower for all these troops. The Czechoslovakia is having tanks. And they are having forts over here. Against the Germans, of course. Not everywhere. Yeah, there is a Spanish commune. Anarchists. And the Carlists will also rise up soon. There are the machine tools. Um, let's continue our industry first. Way too important. Make it like this in the beginning. Um, can I change you down to the elites? Yeah, we don't have the manpower, but we do have the other things. Get a couple uh, chains over here until we have no more artillery left. Let's do these two. There we go. We have the trucks. I need the engineers first, it's so important. And yes, we should make trucks. Um, let's put one away from the guns. We have the guns right now. We have a lot of support equipment still, so we can just fit the engineers when we can. Yes. The Alpenjägers over here. Yeah, they do have engineers, but they do not have cavalry recon or artillery. I guess Brno is a supply hub. Yeah, it will be very important for us to get Brno. Let's just focus on that. Oh, they say yes. Turning a careful balance between the Republican and Monarchist factions in this government has opted for a compromise solution. Otto von Habsburg will be declared King of Bohemia and Moravia. 
but the Czechoslovakian constitution will limit his powers to only act with the advice and consent of parliament. They are, a, they are now a dominion. Ah. Alright. Maybe we can do something with him later. Okay, now we need more manpower in the field, and we can't because we don't have manpower. So what we need to do now is uh, treat, is uh, go with the uh, blood agreement. Sometimes the AI says just yes, and they just uh, join you. All right. Well, at least they are now our dominion. I guess we can uh, take a lot of their uh, things for cheap. Yeah, we can get 10. I think when I build in this country... ...that I can annex this guy. But um, it's going to take a really long time. But it's not impossible. Start getting the other things here. We are controlling. What is controlling? Slovakia is not in this list, isn't are they? No. We only have to go after the uh Yugoslavia and uh, Romania. How many people do I have in the field? Oh yeah, we need so much more manpower. It's crazy. been declared war yep more elite infantry is getting changed we have enough points again uh let's see do we go with the monarchist now maybe Yeah, I'm gonna pick one more thing and then we will spare our points for the removal of the Treaty of Triadnan. Um, Not this one yet, no. Let's, get, let's go with the Monarchist so we get more uh, monarch, Monarchist uh, popularity and that will increase our stability and then we get more factory output. So. We get 50% more trade and it costs 50% less for us. Subject manpower requirement. Yeah, I can ask a lot of things. I, th I can request forces. I can ask to control all their divisions.
Okay, so I cannot really do anything here. But I can take that trade, and that's cheaper than Germany, so we should stop with Germany. And get a bit more from Czechoslovakia. The only downside is that when I trade with him... He will get points. And they will become free. It's going very slowly. But that is how it will work. So preferably I don't want to trade with him and just... Uh, build in his country and uh, give him guns for example. That's better for us. Okay, we did the secret rearmament. Uh, let's go to the blood agreement. Yeah, so we should really not trade with him if we want to annex him at some point. Let's just continue with Germany. And instead we should give him guns and stuff. I will give you a thousand guns monthly, then their autonomy will go down with minus five a month. <laughs> if we have way too many guns, we can just give it and then they will become... Uh, ...towards annexation. They go towards annexation. Okay, we are getting some manpower now, because we are cheating on the triathlon... ...triathlon uh, thing here. Secret rearmament, yes. Slowly getting the points in. Alright guys, this will be the first episode of the new run. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and say something in the comment section. Um, so that people can find this video a lot quicker. If you, in, if you are uh, saying something over there in the comment section, then... Uh, the algorithm bots will find this uh, video quicker. So thank you if you do that. And then I hope to see you guys in the next part. Bye bye.